Welcome to this palms video called Soil and Worms, the story of Willie the Worm. In this video, we're going to be talking about what makes up soil and something that lives in it and keeps our soil healthy. Soil is an essential resource, something we have to have. In 1938, Charles E. Kellogg said, essentially, all life depends upon the soil. There can be no life without soil and no soil without life. They have evolved together. So what makes up soil? Soil has living and non-living components or parts. Non-living parts include very small pieces of rocks, crystals and minerals, and dead leaves and other bits of plants. Some living components we can see, like insects and bugs, and some we need a microscope to see. There's microorganisms in soil, such as bacteria and fungi. Let's meet one of its living parts we can see, Willie the worm. Okay, he's a puppet, so strictly not living, but let's pretend. Willie has a problem. He needs a new home. He doesn't live in a house like we do. This is the story of how he found a new home. This story is called Willie the Worm Needs a New Home. There are too many worms in this place, said Willie. I need to make a new home. I need some soil of my own. Rocks, can you help me? asked Willie. We can give you gravel and sand, said the rocks. Thank you, said Willie, and he took away the gravel and the sand. Apple tree, can you help me? asked Willie. I can give you dead leaves and rotten fruit, said the apple tree. Thank you, said Willie, and he took away the dead leaves and fruit. He also found some other rotten fruit and vegetables to add to his new home. Sky, can you help me make a new home? asked Willie. I can give you gentle drops of rain, said the sky. Thank you, said Willie, and he took away the gentle drops of rain. Willie mixed together the gravel and sand, the dead leaves and fruit, and then added the rain. Willie had made soil. It was lovely. The farmer said, come with your lovely soil and live on our farm. Yes, please come, mooed the cow. Why? asked Willie. Good soil grows good grass. Cows eat grass. Working worms improve soil, mooed the cow. I eat grass and make milk for my calves and the farmer, mooed the cow. Yes, please come, whispered the wheat. Why? asked Willie. Good soil has food for growing wheat. Working worms improve soil, whispered the wheat. Soon other worms came to join him. Willie also brought his friends the fungi and his buddies the bacteria. The farm was a wonderful place for worms. They ate tunnels through the soil and helped the plants and animals. Willie was happy in his new home. That was a great story, but why are worms so important to soil? Worms leave tunnels that allow air and water into the soil. Plants depend on air and water reaching their roots. Lots of nutrients or food that plants need are dissolved in water and then they're absorbed through their roots. Worm castings or poo are a great fertilizer too. Now that you've learned a little more about soil and worms, here's some other things to consider. See if you can find any earthworms in your garden. Be careful if touching them as they're fragile and sensitive to the heat from our hands. What are the different parts of an earthworm called? What do earthworms eat? Do earthworms like being out in the sunlight? Find out how long earthworms live. Investigate how to make a worm farm. Thanks for watching this Palms video. For more fun, hands-on earth science activities, visit our website palms.edu.au.